So every province in Canada, every state in the U.S. has a minor league affiliate that means a lot to their hometowns, be it a regional part of, let's say, New York, uh, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, uh, Maine, whatever. Now this team was is comparable to a lot of the classic AHL teams of the 70s, 80s, and 90s. When it came into existence, it was a it was pretty well much an experiment at the Vancouver Canucks that went wrong in Hamilton, but what came to life really in this community. So today we're going to be talking about the legendary and the many legends of the Syracuse Crunch. Now, this podcast goes on to a good supporter of the podcast channel, my uh, my uh, wrestler uh, from Syracuse, Sarah Lulu, who was good enough to come up and help our Crown of Maine wrestling a couple of years ago. She became friends with all of us. Sailor's a big fan, so this is for you. Now, the Syracuse Crunch, again, play in the AHL in 2020 2021. Based in Syracuse, New York, at the Upstate Medical University Arena at Onondaga, County War Memorial. Again, they're primarily the development affiliate for the defending Stanley Cup champions, the Tampa Bay Lightning. Now, the French franchise originated in 1992 as the Hamilton Canucks, which were the, an affiliate of the NHL's Vancouver Canucks. The Canucks played in Hamilton for two seasons before relocating to upstate New York in 94. They, they were renamed the Crunch in a public vote of five names. The Crunch played their first game in Syracuse on September 30th, 1994 against the Albany River Rats to a 7-7 tie with Lonnie Bohana scoring the first Crunch goal. They finished the season 29-42-9, fifth in the division and outside the playoffs. The Crunch eventually made the playoffs the following season after finishing 31-37-5-7 and made it to the 96 conference finals before losing to the Calder Cup champions. Uh, Rochester Americans. The team led the league in settles in 97 and 98, and in 97 the Crunch added a second NHL affiliate with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Things were going great. However, the 99 season, the, the, despite the du- duplicate or double affiliation, was the Crunch's worst season in in its history. They finished with a rough 1850-9 entry record. On the night before Thanksgiving in 98, which made national news in Canada states, the Crunch suffered a worst loss in team history to the province's Bruins by a score, get this, of 14 to 2. They allowed 10 goals in the first period as a goalie, starting goalie Craig Hilliard allowed 7 goals before being pulled from by a, for Mike Valley, who also allowed 7. The Penguins, not because of this of course, the affiliation ended after the season when he launched the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins. The Crunch did make the playoffs the following season, their last as Vancouver's primary AHL affiliate, but lost in the first round to the Hamilton Bulldogs. Now, the Crunch became the affiliate of the new Columbus Blue Jackets following the 2000 season. They made the playoffs in their first campaign under the Jackets, but lost in five games to Wilkes-Barre. Uh, in the first round. In the following season, in 2002, they won their first division title in franchise history by goalie Jean-Francois Labbé. They swept the Philadelphia Phantoms in three games in the first round, but lost to eventual Calder Cup champion Chicago Wolves in the second round. On March 17, 2002, they played against the Wilts, Barry, Scranton Penguins. The game was infamously named the St. Patrick's Day Massacre. The crunch in that contest accumulated 124 penalty minutes, 80 of which were fighting majors, while the Penguins had 162 minutes with 102 for fighting. The crunch eventually won the slugfest for nothing. The Crunch would miss the playoffs the following season, their second worst year in franchise history, finishing 27-41-8-4. In the 2004 Calder Cup playoffs, the Crunch became unfortunately the 12th team in league history to blow a 3-1 series lead when they lost to Rochester in the opening round. The Crunch were on home ice for Game 7, and forward Kent McDonnell missed an empty net when the Americans goalie Ryan Miller was caught out of position. Rochester then recovered with an odd man rush, and Norman and Miley bet crunch goalie Carl Goldberg to win the game in OT. The 2006 season was the best year the Crunch had had during their 80K, 80 game schedule format. They scored a record 272 goals, but allowed 251, and ended a regular season second, 13 points behind the very strong Grand Rapids. They also won 47 games, which tied their 2019 season, albeit in four less games with a 76 game schedule. 
Andy Delmore was the top defenseman, winning the NHL award with 72 points in 66 games and also made the AHL first All-Star team at the end of the year. Mike Cardigan also scored 75 points in 49 games, averaging 1.5 points per contest. They then lost in the first round of the Calder Cup playoffs to the Manitoba Moose in six. During 2008, the Crunch went on an outstanding 15-game winning streak at the end of the year from March 8th to April 13th to make the playoffs. The streak is still the longest in team history as of this campaign. They defeated the Manitoba Moose in six games, where five of the, the, the games went into overtime. They got to the second round to face the Toronto Marlies, but blew another 3-1 series lead. The Crunch played the first outdoor game in AHL history on February 20, 2010 against the Binghamton Senators. The Miro Beetle Outdoor Classic took place at the Grandstand at the New York State Firegrounds in Syracuse. The game set a then AHL franchise record, uh, attendance record, of 21,508. Syracuse won 2-0 two, two with goals scored by Alexander Picard and David uh, Liffetton. Goaltender Kevin Lalande made 36 saves on route to Syracuse victory. The Crunch unfortunately missed the playoffs in their final two seasons as the Blue Jackets affiliate as they switched their affiliation to the Springfield Falcons in 2010. Now Anaheim took over, lasting two seasons, resulting in one playoff appearance in 2012. That year, they lost in the first round to St. John Icecaps in four games. The affiliation produced future NHL players such as Kyle, Paul Mary, Nick Benino, and Patrick Maroon. Now, Tampa Bay decided to go in in 2012, signing a multi-year affiliation deal beginning with 2013. The affiliation brought immediate success, resulting in the team's first division title in 11 years. At the end of the 2013 season, Tyler Johnson won a Les Cunningham Award, Millie Marshall Award, and a President's Award. He was the first MVP in Crunch history, with 65 points, including 37 goals and 28 helpers. The team did reach the 2013 Collar Cup Finals, their first ever appearance, but again lost to their uh, nemesis Grand Rapids. Now, on November 22, 2014, the Syracuse Crunch set a new United States indoor pro hockey attendance record with 30,715 fans at the Carrier Dome, no relation to me, of course, for the Toronto Toronto Frozen Dome Classic. They defeated the Utica Comets 2-1. Now, they won their second division title under Tampa Bay's affiliation in 2017. They advanced to the second Calder Cup, again against Grand Rapids, and Grafford, the Grand Rapid Rider Griffins won again, winning in six contests. They also lost an AHL record eight road games during the playoffs. Again, you got to win on the road. Now, on May 5, 2018, the Crunch played their longest game in team history, which they lost 2-1 in double overtime to the Toronto Marlies. The game lasted 95 minutes and 10 seconds. The Crunch previously played two double overtime games, both in the 2017 Calder Cup playoffs. They played a double overtime game in the first round against the St. John Ice Caps, resulting in a 4-3 double overtime win. That game lasted 90 minutes and 37 seconds to a previous record. They also played another double overtime game in the 2017 Calder Cup Finals, a 6-5 loss of double overtime to Grand Rapids, lasting 87 minutes 2 seconds. Now, the 2019 season was the best year the Crunch has had during the 76-game schedule format. The tied the team record in points with 102, and it with a franchise record uh, wins with 47, which they died. Eddie Pasquale won the Hap Holmes Memorial Award. Kyler Varhagi won the J.P. Sonnenberger Trophy. And Varhagi and Alex Bade boulet both won the Willie Marshall Award, as they both tied for the league-leading goal scored. The Crunch also achieved 900 franchise victories with a 6-2 uh, triumph over Utica on March 30, 2019. The Crunch eventually won their third division title in the Tampa affiliation, but lost to the Cleveland Monsters in the opening round 4-0. Now, the Crunch played their first 62 games of the 2020 season, but the campaign was suspended on March 12th of that year due, due to the COVID uh, pandemic. The season was ultimately cancelled on May 11th. The start of the following season was also pushed back to February of 2021. The Crunch also gained a temporary second NHL affiliation in the Florida Pan Panthers as the excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. As the AHL affiliate of Charlotte Checkers opted out of <laughs> participating in the abbreviated season. Oh, it must be the pilot. Prior to pandemic-related schedule changes, the Crunch were to face the Utica Comets in an outdoor game hosted by Utica at the uh, Griffiths 
Business and Technology Park in Rome, New York on February 13, 2021. However, the game never did uh, take place as scheduled. Now, we must recognize the history of hockey in Syracuse. AHL hockey teams that are played in Syracuse, including the Syracuse Stars from up at 30 to 36 in original IHL, the Syracuse Stars, 36 to 40 in the AHL, and the first team to win the Calder Cup in 1937, the Syracuse Warriors from 51 to 54, the vaunted Syracuse Eagles, 74 to 75, and the Syracuse Firebirds in 79 80. Now, other teams that played in Syracuse, of course, and we've covered it in some of our uh, league uh, podcasts, the Syracuse Braves of the EPHL, 63 season, Syracuse Blazers, 67 to 73, EHL, Syracuse Blazers, uh, same name, different league, 73-77 of the NHL. Syracuse Condors granted a franchise, franchise by the NHL for 78, but the league folded the team never played a game. Kind of a bummer, my hometown high school team was the Condors. Syracuse Hornets, 81 EHL, they only played 10 games. And the Syracuse Junior Crunch Syracuse Stars in the Metro Junior A Hockey League and the Ontario Provincial Junior A Hockey League from 96 to 2005 when some American junior teams were allowed in American associations. Now, the owner, Howard Dalgon, came up with a superhero mascot crunch band for the team's debut in 94. Uh, they've had numerous uh, logos over the years, kind of a, a, a thematic thing. In 2000, as the Crunch became affiliated with the club's Blue Jackets, Crunch Man was replaced with Al the Ice Gorilla. Al remained until 2012, when Dalgon found the new uh, affiliation with Tampa Bay, a good reason to return with Crunch Man. Now, the, uh, the team captains... First one, of course, was Dane Jackson, uh, Mark Walton, Brian Bodeen, Mike Gall, Sean Pronger, David Ling, Daryl Scoville, Jamie Pushaw, very underrated player, Sidon Kanokpa, Dan Smith, Derek McKenzie, Joel DePenta, Nate uh, Ginnan or Guinean, Mike Ange- Angelidis, Luke with uh, Kawaroski, Eric Condra, Gabriel Duma. Easy to say Gabriel Duma, me being a Métis. Now, a head coach is the legendary fighter and flyer and Canuck, Jack McElargy, 94 to 99. Stan Schmiel, former Vancouver star, uh, 2000 season. Gary Agnew, 2006. Rosh Yates took over in 2006 and 2010. Mark Olick, 2010 to 2012. The great Trent Yanni, 2012. Uh, John Cooper, 2012-13. Rob Zettler, former Tampa Bay star, uh, 2013-16. And, of course, the current... Uh, Head coach Benoit, uh, Benoit Guru. Now, Benoit Guru is aided by Gilles Bouchard and Eric Veilleau as assistant coaches, Joe Palmer, goaltending and video coach. Now, when the Crunch raised a banner following a fan vote their team's fifth season in honor of fan favorite Big Bad John Baduki, it is not retired and was later be worn by former United States Olympian uh, Darby Hendrickson, as well as Sergio Bain, Richard Panic. Justin Corton, Brandon Alderson, Mike McNamee, Kevin Lynch, and most recently, Devontae Stevens. Now, the, during the 2009 season, the team temporarily reserved, but now retired, number seven is a tribute to Paul Newman after his death. This honors Reggie Dunlop, the character he played in Slapshot, the player coach for the fictional Charlestown Cheese. Now, the movie was a film partially at Onondaga County War Memorial. Coincidentally, other scenes were filmed at the Cambria County War Memorial Arena in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. The home ice of the country's former ECHL affiliate, the Johnstown Chiefs. The banner was raised October 14th and was up for the entire season, but the number was not retired, as it was most recently worn by Crunch player Matthew Joseph in the 2020 season. Now, in March... Uh, 16, uh, 2016, uh, the Crunch retired Dolph Skays, number four. He played for the Syracuse Nationals and his successor, the Philadelphia 76ers. He was the first player in the NBA to score 15,000 points in his career. The number is unofficially retired, as the number was most recently worn by Matt, uh, by Matt Petgrave during 2008 campaign. Now, key uh, Crunch alumni, including the great Andrea O'Coin, Francis Beauchemin, Ronnie Bahanas, uh, Anthony, Anthony Sorelli, Corey Conacher, of course, Eric Condra, Ty Conklin, uh, Jonathan Drouin, currently with the Montreal Canadiens, Ramery, the great Ottawa goalie, and Flyers as well, Tim Jackman, Tyler Johnson, Matthew Joseph, 
Nikita Kucherov for obvious reason. Jean-Francois Labbé, Pascal Leclerc, Anders Lindback, Jonathan uh, Machisot, Patrick Maroon, Vladislav uh, Memstikhanov, uh, Andre Palat, Richard Panic, Cedric Paquette, Mike Becker, Braden Point, Dave Scatchard, Brent Sobel, Duskin uh, Tatarski, again, the former Montreal Canadian, Andre Vasilevsky, Scott Walker, and Luke Witkowski. Now, Franchise writer, records and leaders, leaders the hottest all-time single-season goal scorer, 40, assists, 58, Bill Bauer, points, Carter Viargi, 82, uh, again, the great Jody Shelley, the big fist, uh, leader in penny mills, 357, and Labbe with that great 2002 season, goals against average, 2.18, and uh, 928 uh, save percentage. Lonnie Bahanas again, had 16 goals in the playoffs in 96, give him 56 for the season and uh, playoffs. Andre Palat had 19 in 2013. Points was Conacher, 28 in 2017. Richard Panic 59 penalty minutes, 2013. Wins, Cedric Desjardins, uh, my uh, distant cousin from Edmonton, New Brunswick, in 2013, and Mike McKenna in 2017, 13, single pole season. Uh, goals against average, pass of Leclerc, 2.29, and saves uh, Pascal, 9.39, in uh, 2006. Again, career games, Brad Moran, 334. Uh, career goals, Mark Cardigan, 107. Career assists, Brad Moran, 143. Career points, Brad Moran, 241. Career penalty minutes, Jeremy Reich, 820. Goaltending wins, Carl, Carl Goring, 78. And career shutouts, Carl and Jean-Francois LeBay. Now, multiple awards winners, uh, including Alex Barre Boulet, the Red Gear of Memorial, Eddie Shore, Del Moore in 06, Teo Mina in 2017, Hap Holmes Pasquale, 2019, uh, Hendy Memorial, 2015, uh, Ellery Memorial Awards, Benini in 95, Seth Everett in 96, Lindsey Kramer in 97, the Sonnenberger Trophy, Carter Verhey in 2019, Ken McKenzie Award, Tim Cool. Back to back, 95-96. James uh, Sarusi, 2002-2010. Les Cunningham Award, Tyler Johnson, 2013. Thomas Ed Bright Memorial Award, 2014. Willie Marshall Award, uh, Johnson, in 2013. And Carter Vahegi, Alex Buddy, uh, Boulay in 2019. And Yannick Dupre Memorial Award was Eric Nielsen in 2014. So a long history, an important history, and, but for me, as a New Brunswicker, seeing uh, a lot of Quebecers and New Brunswick uh, products pass through the Syracuse, like the modern incarnation, uh, they say if you can make in Syracuse for minor hockey, you can make it anywhere. And Syracuse played a very consistent game over the years. Fan favorite, Sailor can tell you, they have a lot of uh, fans of all ages. It's a great atmosphere to go see a game. The players weren't scared to fight, but they weren't scared to score either. So for the, for the, for what they were charging to see a game and what it was giving. Now, I know the radio and TV broadcasts of Syracuse. I forget the, the networks. They do a great job. So, I mean, and I had an opportunity to cover some of the Syracuse uh, players through the years that were affiliated with Vancouver and Tampa Bay. And let me tell you something. Syracuse is, was always going to be a very popular uh, team for the AHL fans because we see New York, Maine, Massachusetts as natural rivals for the Maritime and uh, Quebec and Ontario teams. So there's a good rivalry. And, you know, when you call it a crunch, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, it stands out. The logo is tremendous. I've seen actually Syracuse logos and shirts throughout Canada in my travels. So you must have a good fan base. Again, to all the Syracuse uh, crunch fans that might be listening, Thanks for taking your time. Sorry it's longer than a normal podcast, but it's a lot of history. I'm going to be very busy with some of the Frozen 4 NHL coverage the next few days, so I want to get the latest in my team profiles out. Uh, the people who have been supporting that, including the, the Rhode Island Reds Heritage Society, different people, my friends in the Boston region, Chicago, uh, people like Sailor down in New York State and Maine, all my friends across Canada, 305,000 hits on the channel and 200. And 15,000 since June of 2020. It's not just COVID. The response has been a lot better because we're doing more directed podcasts. So if you have a request, uh, like, comment, or subscribe, or you don't like what I'm doing, let me know. But this is for you guys. There's no monetization. I'm not making any money off it. Expansion of my 
uh, sports editor career in New Brunswick. I'm doing it for the fans. And like Sailor, you got to be a fan of the AHL. There's good and bad times for every team, and she's probably seen them both. So, Thanks, Sailor, for the suggestion. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, if you're a fan of the AHL, you're a fan of hockey. Because it's a family event where we're all a family. Everybody in the AHL rink loves seeing the prospects and the former stars play together and bring entertainment to you, the fans. Thanks for listening. Bye.